Thanks, buddy. The running's good as well, and we know you're multi-talented, uh, but we're going from uh, running to wood whittling now, won't we? Wood, wood whittling. Wood whittling. Wood whittling, yes. Easy to say. So this is like an ancient technique that's made a bit of a comeback, um, and we were talking about this before because... Look at this. Will made me this for my birthday. Uh, it looks great, but also what you probably can't tell from uh, being at home is how smooth it is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It was such a lovely gift. Thank You're you welcome. very much. You're yeah. welcome. But you've been doing a few other things yes, uh, I have. over lockdown. I um, Have you ever heard of the Welsh Love Spoon? Well, yeah. 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 Well, that is probably not so intricate, but it's you know, with our bromance. I thought it'd be nice making a spoon. Aww, I love it. I cherish nice. it. Every time I eat my porridge in the morning, I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making loads of other things, spoons, and I even made a lovely little Valentine's gift for my fiance, a nice little carved so little bowl look there. Look at him, how romantic know, he is. She did mention to me just last night that I didn't get her flowers. <laughs> oh, but I'm grateful. Anyway. Can <laughs> never win. But there we are. Well, gorgeous. listen, to make something like that, do you need a specific type of wood? Well, you can pretty much carve anything that you find on the forest floor, as it were. Um, I would definitely say if you're a beginner, start off with soft wood. It's a lot easier to carve. Uh, I'm really getting a bit more confidence. You can move on to harder wood. So I've made some spoons out of some walnut and some sort of African wood there. Uh, the grain is really lovely, but it's quite hard. So it, it can be quite hard to carve into. OK, mm. you're going to show us how to do it, aren't you? But before we do that, what are the tools that we need for the, the tools? Job? Sharp tools. Sharp tools is always a must. Um, by the way, these are slash proof gloves. Um, you can get these for about a fiver. Uh, and Why and could you get half of them? What's well, the I cut that out because uh, I don't slash in that direction. Um, right, so uh, tools wise, uh, sharp chisels. So um, I have this lovely sharp uh, knife there. That is used for hacking out most of the shape. Uh, it's super sharp, uh, but you use it for most of the spoon. Then for the inside scoop out piece, I use one of these here. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely. Mm. Looks lethal. That's almost like an ice cream scoop, isn't it? It is. But a bit sharper. <laughs> <laughs> Are they expensive, Will? So uh, they range from £30 for a sort of standard range and they can go up into the hundreds, you know, it just sort of depends on how much that you want to spend. But sharp tools is a must. Yeah. Um, All right then, well, how so, do we do it? Well, right, so I've already cut out a little template of a spoon. And by that, I, 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 I'd kind of roughly drawn out the shape of a spoon, folded the paper in half, then I've got a nice symmetrical outline. Um, and then what you want to do is transfer that onto the piece of wood. So draw around the outside. So like a stencil, then? Like a stencil, yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you've got your shape, the first thing that you want to do is start carving out the inside. You could cut out the outside edge, but uh, when it comes to scooping out the inside, with the handle being so thin, there's more of a risk of it breaking. So I tend to do all these sort of inside yeah. scooping work first. Okay. That's a good tip. There you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, there it... Then you get stuck in. Yeah. It... Get stuck in. That's yeah. lovely, isn't it? It sounds lovely as well. Really, this is really that? therapeutic. Really therapeutic. And you can do this at home. You don't need a big workshop for this either. Yeah. Um, so you can do it anyway. Once you've done that, then, um, then you move on to cutting round the outside of the shape of the spoon. Mm -hmm. You can do that again with this lovely sharp knife here. Um, or if you have a saw, you can use a saw to roughly cut it out. Um, traditionally, if you are whittling a spoon in the forest, you'd actually use a little axe. That yeah. freaks me out. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're a beginner, I'd probably say use a saw to cut it out or use a yeah. sharp knife. Uh, but, you know, yeah. when you're a bit more advanced. You, you were quite rough around the edges there to start with because you need to yes. get rid of the wood, don't yes. you, to yes. get to the actual spoon shape. Once you've done the inside, then you need to shape the outside of the spoon right. round to the back uh, using the same knife there, chipping away to get that nice round shape in the back. Yeah. So is there a technique or are you just doing this freehand? You kind of freehand it, trying to mirror the same kind of shape as the inside of the spoon. Mm. Uh, once you've done that, then you shape up the handle, uh, chipping away, smoothing it off, um, sort of really doing things by eye, finishing off with some sandpaper to smooth out those rough edges. And then finally, once that's all sanded completely smooth, you can use some food safe oil ah, so uh, to seal the uh, wood. So you can use it for cooking uh, and it brings up the lovely grain of the wood as well. Um, and then that sort of makes it look really nice and shiny. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. Do you know, once this is dried, mm. I'd like you to have the spoon. 
It's slightly oh. bigger than Geffen's. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I love you any less, Geffen. No, it just means. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, I love mine. Thank That's you very gorgeous. much. That's gorgeous. Thank you. And you're right, it is really, really therapeutic. Just watching that and watching you do it, it's lovely, isn't it? And as we mentioned just there, it can be great for easing anxiety. And don't forget, BBC Headroom can also provide you with the toolkit you need to look after your own mental health or someone you might know. It's completely free online right now. So uh, take a look. Just search 